We've modeled land in En-ROADS. We can now track the movement of land between forest land, farmland, and other, and also track the carbon stored in the soil, in the biomass, and the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and all the movements between. This has huge implications for our ability to test policies in reducing deforestation and forest degradation, bioenergy, food and agriculture, afforestation, and other kinds of tests. Let me show you the big three that I want to focus on. Deforestation and the ability to remove carbon from the atmosphere, forest degradation, and then planting trees. Let's go check it out. The best graph to look at to see the effect of these policies is CO2 emissions, CO2 net emissions from land use. And I particularly want to focus on removals, CO2 removals, CO2 removals from land. I'll click on the three dots for deforestation. I'm going to scroll past the food sliders, that's for another video, and go to reduction in deforestation. The old version of En-ROADS, of course, could test the ability to uh, the policies that would reduce deforestation, and you would see emissions into the atmosphere being cut. That is less burning of trees, less rotting of trees. Uh, however, it was missing the effect on forests and their continued ability to pull carbon out of the atmosphere. We've got that now. Check it out. We're going to reduce deforestation. You can see it most directly in the bottom right with the yellow wedge shrinking. You'll see a cut to deforestation. And I'll hit it a couple times more. Less deforestation. So there's going to be less direct emissions from, again, burning and rotting of trees. But now we have a secondary effect. Look at the top right. In the top right, you can see the blue line for CO2 removals of, from land increasing away from the, the black line. More trees staying uh, older and able to pull carbon out of the atmosphere. The effect of both reducing emissions and boosting removals is shown in the left. You can see CO2 net emissions from land use coming down. The second impact is around degradation of forests. Now undo this and pull up a different graph. Here it is, forest area by age. We now give you the ability to reduce mature forest degradation. We're gonna have less harvesting of older trees. You can see how many older trees there are, million hectares in the top right. The green line shows you trees more than 100 years old. That's shrinking over time in the baseline. What if we reduce it? So I'm going to cut that mature forest degradation. You'll see it first in the bottom right as we see the, uh, the brown and pink areas shrink right there. And I'll replay it. Pink area and brown areas shrink. And the result is that in the top right, the green line departs from the dotted line. We're retaining more land in older trees. Those older trees continue to remove carbon. En-ROADS calculates how much, and the result is this reduction in CO2 net emissions from land use. So put the two together, cutting deforestation and land degradation, and the two together are what we put into this main slider in the top right. Deforestation is actually includes degradation as well. So I'm going to hit it and we have both being impacted here, both deforestation and degradation. And we get to see the impact, which is a huge cut in CO2 net emissions from land use. The third thing I really wanna show you is watching the effect in this forest area by age uh, from planting trees, you can really see the dynamics of those trees maturing and becoming older quite clearly. I'm going to undo this and click at a policy to promote planting trees around the world. When we do it, look in the top right, we can see first a surge in the land in the youngest trees in black, later 
uh, a surge in the middle-aged or land with middle-aged trees in blue, and then finally delayed an increase in the amount of land in mature trees in green. Put some of these policies together, deforestation and growing some trees and cutting land degradation, that's when we get to see the combined impact of those three sets of policies. Cutting deforestation, reducing forest degradation, and in this case, planting some trees in order to get the full uh, impact from this forestry area. Okay, overall, the big news is the connection of land to the carbon cycle. And finally then, the linking from these different parts of the model, the energy sector, land sector, and the carbon cycle, so we can see many of these interdependencies, interrelationships. I hope this was helpful. Go get them.